This is Hank Hill, assistant manager, and we are not going to pay you for inciting a riot. You stupid, stupid idiot! Hey guys, Ryu here. So, ah, uh, man. Jussie, Jussie, Jussie. You are an idiot. Like, you was on this really good show, and then you decided to pull some stuff like this. It is ridiculous. Okay? Oh, man. So, I guess for the two people who don't know what happened, basically, or I, maybe I should run, do a timeline. If I'm wrong on anything, uh, tell me in the comment section. Okay, so... My understanding of the situation is at the Fox Studio or wherever they shoot Empire in Cleveland, not Cleveland, in uh, Chicago, Jesse basically he mailed himself a death threat. Okay? This dude literally mailed himself a death threat. There was some power on it. They had to shut down the studio for a day. And then, and they found like some powder on it, but the powder turned out to be aspirin. So they didn't think anything of it, and then they did, then he pulls another hoax. Uh, yeah, they, uh, quote unquote, hate crime. Yeah, so basically, he hired some two Nigerian dudes to, ba to basically beat him up, and like, he had this whole story that did not make sense at all. I mean, I... I knew something was off when, when in his story he said that two racist white guys wearing MAGA hats um, basically like beat them up and basically, or no, they recognized him from the show. Okay, because I'm just like, Empire is a predominantly black television show. Why would, like, that is how the, um, like the only way they would know who, the, who you are because I mean no offense to him but he's not that big yet I mean he's I, mean, I guess he's big now but he wasn't <laughs> when this whole thing popped off and so like why would racist white guys know who you are unless they watch Empire and I don't think racist white people watch Empire okay so in the, anyway uh, so he had these two Nigerian dudes beat him up and and in his story, though, he said that they were, um, again, racist white guys wearing MAGA hats. They, yeah, they recognized them from the show, beat them up, and then when they left, they said, this is MAGA country. I know plenty of Trump supporters, okay? None of whom are racist, obviously, but people don't talk like that, okay? Like, that's how you know that he is kind of detached from reality. Okay, because, like, like, most Trump supporters are not racist. I mean, granted, there are some who are, but, like, there are, there are people who are not, and they, like, they're just regular people who happen to like the guy. Okay? But uh, I digress on that. So, they, so the police basically spent weeks investigating this whole thing. And then, yeah, turns out the whole thing was a hoax. He called, he literally called himself the gay Tupac. Like, whatever does that mean? Yeah, I'm just like, Tupac's dead. But, any anyway though. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this whole situation, though. Like, I am super disappointed in him. Okay, and here's why. I mean, besides his obvious really bad story, because there was just a whole bunch of inconsistencies to begin with, if you, like, actually thought about it. But the main reason is because, like, he was one of the best characters on the show. Okay, and he did this for what? Because he wanted some more money? I mean, he could he could take my job making twelve something an hour. 
like I'll, I'll happily um, take his spot. I mean, I may be black, but I'm not gay or uh, can sing. I sound terrible on the mic. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm just saying. So, uh, so of course, uh, he eventually turned himself in. And, yeah, that's the gist of it. Like, I'm just super disappointed. They're, I heard that they're going to, like, write him off the show. It's like, uh, really, dude? Yeah, like, uh, so, uh, some people are just calling them crazy for doing this, but I feel like in the black community, we have a victimhood problem. I mean, not, not everyone, obviously. But it's definitely an issue within the black community. Yeah, and I've, ne I've never seen myself as a victim. And I I don't want anyone else to, like, um, who will see themselves as a victim either. But seriously, though, like, next season or whatever, he could have negotiated his contract after some more money. Like, the show's doing really well. Uh, but... Like all he all he did was basically make this political and like divide people. And that's kind of the problem with politics in general because with like the reason people say don't talk politics is because people are divided over a whole bunch of issues. Even though when it comes down to it, and this is just my opinion, everything is politics. So like he um I, 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 I'm just stupid. And you may think political, you know, white people. Yeah, you guys may not even know this, but there are actually, like, um, black Republicans, black conservatives out there who actually watch Empire. Okay? Like, or, yeah, even black Trump supporters who watch Empire. Like you was rising, like you were rising up. Or he was rising up in the uh, like in popularity because of the show. He was becoming a martyr for like LGBT people, or just LGBTQ people. Like he's, yeah, he just had to ruin that because he decided to become selfish and ask for or try to get more money rather. Than do it the legal way. Oh, but. <sighs> yeah, I'm just disappointed. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on the situation. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, hit the uh, thumbs up to like the video. Well, if you actually do like it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Um, stay tuned and see you soon.